takes a phone call for a really long and complex truck sale. Cool. Call. Another smooth call yeah, from Phillips. Call. Yeah. Phillips with his trap laying in wait. Nick Slowinski sees a nine of spades pair of the board. Well, that might save Nick some money. If he'd hit trips uh, straight or flush, he might be pushing. Nick first to act. I'm all in. I call. call. Wow, Nick pushed Phillips with the insta call. And Nick with a tournament ending misread. I guess he thought he could push Phillips off a marginal hand. Phillips doesn't know where he stands just yet. Now he does. Dennis Phillips knocks off Nick Slowinski in 13th place. Boy, Dennis Phillips continues to get the right cards and push the right buttons. Nick, you did awesome. Are you serious? Nick's family and friends celebrate this 23-year-old's phenomenal run here in the main event. Nick Slowinski played solid poker to get here. One misstep, and it's over. Dennis Phillips is the oldest player remaining, and he's short on tournament experience. But he's got a lot of chips and a real love for the game and should not be underestimated. I was raised on a farm, started driving trucks when my feet would uh, reach the pedals. Now I'm a commercial account manager for Broadway Truck Centers in St. Louis. We sell commercial trucks to uh, everybody from contractors, roofers, whoever. I like my job, and I love playing poker. I've played cards all my life. I'm the grandpa at the dang table. Got my tail kicked a few times trying to learn the game, but I really grew to love it. Woo! I've already had the owner of the company call me, wishing me well. Everybody's making reservations for November. My battery's going dead on the doggone phone. It keeps ringing so much. I keep telling them, no, not yet. Uh, but, you know, hopefully I'll make a final table here. We'll see. He started to play bridge at age nine, then got into blackjack and began to play tournament hold'em four years ago. All right, let's take a look at the E-Trade financial chip count to see how the final 12 stack up. Phillips now in fifth place with just over 13 million. David Chino Reem in third place. Suharto, Claude Nicky, and Kim are the short stacks. Joe Bishop, one of the few amateurs left, is in sixth place. He's watching at table two as Chino Reem and Ivan Demidoff joust. Chino re-raised pre-flop with pocket tens. Demidoff has pocket nines. One of the strongest plays in No Limit is to re-raise a late position raiser if you are in the blind. That's what Chino has done. I'm all in. And Demidoff will push with his nine million chips. And that re-raise tells Chino Reem Demidoff has a big hand. The question is how big? And, and I swear, Lon, we have spent half of this main event watching Chino make tough decisions like this. I'm pretty convinced you have a big hand right now. I know you're not going to go on with nothing. I have a big pair. I don't know what to do. I call. Chino oh. makes the call. Good call. Good he puts Dividoff at risk with 18 million chips up for grabs. Chino Reem makes the right read, the right call, and Ivan Dividoff on the edge of elimination. Chino with a big following of fellow pros. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Dividoff in trouble and at risk. Now the flop. 10 8 6 all hearts. Chino hit a set. He loves it and he hates it. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to flop top set and be disappointed, but Chino knows Demidoff now has a ton of outs. Straight draw, flush draw. Heck, a straight flush draw. Turn card is a four of hearts. Demidoff takes the lead with a flush, and now it's Chino looking for outs. Well, Demidoff comes back in off the ledge. He's good for now. Hit the board! If the board pairs, Demidoff is done. If the board doesn't pair, Demidoff is chip leader. River card is a five. And Demidoff will steal that huge pot from Chino Reem. Boy, Chino up and down and up and down. Chino Reem lost more than half his chip stack there. Nice hand. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. It's poker. Nice hand. Chino had a great shot to score a huge knockout, but the nod went to the Russian. That's my first bad beat of the tournament. Hey, uh, you know, it's all right. I gave a couple, too. It's okay. Nice hand. <coughs> Time for a more subdued Chino Ream to regroup. This Poker Fact brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. In World Series history, eight foreign-born players have won the main event. Luckily, the word champion translates so well.
Back inside the Rio, 12 players remain in the hunt for that main event bracelet. Action underway at the featured table. Three players in the pot after the flop, all with pairs. Elon Schwartz has pocket jacks. Dennis Phillips leads right now with pocket kings. Scott Montgomery flopped a pair of nines, and action is on the Canadian Pro. Schwartz had raised a 500,000 pre-flop. Phillips and Montgomery in a small blind both called. Scott checked. One million. One million. Elon bets one million. By the way, Elon, you have finally convinced me during our many unfortunate hours together that <laughs> pocket jacks are unplayable. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, look here. Elon thinks he's in great shape with three undercards on the board, but he's beat. <laughs> Phillips with the oh, two kings Dennis makes the with call. another easy, smooth call. And Montgomery comes along with top pair. Well, Montgomery is now going to be punished for playing the Queen-9 suited out of the small blind. So all three sticking around to build this pot. Turn card is an ace. Nobody's got an ace, so Phillips Kings are still best. Montgomery checks again. How can the prettiest card in the deck be such a scary card? <laughs> and it is. They all check it. God, look at that ace of spades. River card, eight of hearts. Phillips with his Kings earns the check mark. Montgomery checks again. Schwartz checks. Now Phillips, he did not check. And he bets 1.2 million. About a quarter of the pot. Montgomery, not going away, makes the call. Well, Montgomery's going to figure if nobody's got an ace, I've got a winner. And Schwartz now would get 6-1 to one on a call here. Pocket Jacks makes the call. Dennis turns over his kings right away. Montgomery mucks. Elon gives it up. And Phillips takes another big pot. In a, in a previous life, I think this trucking manager was a card shark. Everything he does works. And Dennis Phillips again has the chip lead. Nice hand. I thought it was played well. You got to love this game. You got to love being Dennis Phillips right now. Over to table two, where Chino Ream is still a bit numb after losing over 9 million chips to Ivan Dimidov just a short bit ago. Action on Joe Bishop with ace-queen. Bishop will raise it to 725,000. Over to another amateur, Darus Suharto with pocket kings. Well, the two senior citizens of table two might square off here. Bishop is 35, Suharto 39. Suharto has picked up a big hand and a big blind. And a re-raise. Call. And Bishop calls for a million more. Well, again, we see what? the blind re-raising a late position razor. Fascinating stuff, Lon, if I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Suharto way ahead of the ace-queen of Joe Bishop. Now the flop. Is 6-5 queen. Bishop paired his queen, but they're second best to Suharto's kings. Well, now things are going to get very interesting. Suharto first to act. Joe Bishop already on edge. He lives on the edge. Two and a half million from Suharto. Suharto bets two-thirds the size of the pot. Well, that's going to be the biggest missed up of the tournament. Let's play for this. Uh -oh. I'm all in. It's this. All in. This would put Suharto all in, and once again, Bishop acts very quickly when he likes his hand a lot. Hope to God he doesn't go. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like his hand as much as I think. <laughs> I couldn't fold. This is a big hand for me. It looks easy to call here with pocket kings. Trust me, for all your chips, it's not. It's queen. Is there a queen on that board? It's queen on the board.